All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it. But basically, just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description, where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. And shout out to my latest Patreon members, Hectico and Gazkama. Thank you for supporting. If you want to check it out, Patreon link down below in the description. And to Today's live stream is partnered with Mint Mobile, where you can save money on your mobile phone plan, but more on that later. So let's get into this. So what we did was we found this post. Shout out to Zach for posting this. Quote, new vehicle buyers are stretched to their financial limits. So what do banks do? Offer a 96-month auto loan. What could possibly go wrong? And the funny thing with this is that this bank, this credit union, which I'm about to show you in just a little bit, actually has one of the better rates out there. Actually, real reasonable rates. Because you can see from this screenshot, if you go with a 61 to 70 month term, you're at 4.79%. And if you go to 37 to 60 month term, you're at 4.49%, which is way, way lower, much lower than Tesla financing at 6.2%. Two nine percent, and of course, if you're wondering what credit union this may be, it's actually one of our recommended ones. It is a little bit harder to get into, though. But if you can find a way or have an affiliation, then it will be easy for you to actually get in. And so, this credit union is actually Navy Federal Credit Union. It is definitely one of our most recommended one because they uh, take care of their members. You can see they take care of the members because of the new car and used car rates as posted. Is as low as 4.09% for 36 months and pretty reasonable rates for like the 60 and 72 months, even like 84 months. Of course, definitely not recommended. You can still be a little bit higher than what Tesla's at, but you can do a longer term, which is lower than what Tesla offers for 84 months. And if you need to, and this is where we're going to get to, if you're wondering where this video is going on, how we can get an insane low payment. If you need to, you could potentially go all the way up to a 96 months at 7.5. 5.9%. So you might be wondering, like, what would those payments look like if you were to finance a vehicle all the way to 96 months? That's 7.59%. Now, definitely, it is not recommended to do a financing term this long, especially at that high of an interest, because you will be paying a ton of interest. Now, at the same time, I know maybe that you have to get into a vehicle. You might need a vehicle for other use, or maybe even to make money as your job or get you to your job to make money and vice versa. So, I can understand that. But really the recommended here, the recommended thing here is this. If you're going to be doing a lower payment like this, try and pay it aggressively as much as possible on any Tesla vehicle or any vehicle that you particularly are looking to buy at these low payments. So what we're going to take a look at here is the first one is we'll take a look at Model Y because it's a little bit cheaper on these instead of the Model 3. I was running through some of the Model 3 payments and we can do it. I'll show you a Model 3 payment after this, uh, especially a Model 3 performance payment. But well, first, we'll take a look at the Model Y. The cheapest one in inventory, or as you can build, maybe not in inventory, is 44990 Of course, these do qualify for the 7500 federal tax credit, and we'll take an average rate of taxes and fees and things like that, about 10%. So $44,990 times 1.1, or 110%, gives us around a sale price of $44,990. I guess I forgot got to actually add that onto here. But anyways, you can get some of the idea here. We have to add some of the taxes back onto here because we forgot to add 10% for taxes and fees. But here's how you can actually see what the payment may look like. So 96 months, 7.59%. We've got a 7,500 federal tax credit at a down payment of 1,650. Let's go ahead and throw in like a 7.75 tax rate for some areas of California. And you can see we have to include all fees and loan. It jumps it up to 547 dollars a month. If you take it out, then it's $499 a month. But this is where you really start to feel some of the pain. At 7.59% for a 96-month term, you are paying $12,000 in interest. So 100% not recommended, even though you do see a low payment on the screen. It is definitely not recommended to do this type of payment or type of loan because you're paying such high interest at the end of the day. Now, 
Now, if we're going to take a look at the Model 3 performance, because this is what we're looking at, I'm uh, I'm definitely intrigued on the Model 3 performance, especially because we went to go drive one today, and actually, it was quite comfortable. Of course, not as comfortable as our Model S or Model X, maybe it left a little bit of room, but uh, it does make it does make some difference on some of the other areas, like it's zippy, you can push it around town wherever you need to, and it is very, very, very fast and fun to drive. But here is what a Model 3 performance were to look like at that same amount of term, 96 months, 7.59, $2,000 down with a 7,500 federal tax credit at a payment of $738 a month. So really, it's not recommended to do this because as you can see, the total interest for something like this at that type of rate is $17,867, almost a third or a fourth of the vehicle price is going to interest as added on top of them. So if you are going to be doing a loan like this, you definitely have to pay it down pretty aggressively, pretty quickly, very, very, very soon so that you don't pay as much interest because the interest only calculates as you hold the vehicle. If you pay it off quickly, then it really doesn't change anything. And then it can really save a lot of your interest. But if you're looking for alternative financing solutions and maybe even get, possibly getting the lowest monthly pay for your, for your Tesla, that's where financing partners like Tenant come in to play. Tenant is an approved Tesla financing partner and can get you the lowest monthly payment for your Tesla. They can do this by deferring a portion of the loan, maybe even that 7,500 federal tax credit. So definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. And if you're looking for a no obligation offer with a soft inquiry credit check, you can check out that link down below and hit the apply on the top right. So thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month. But still, definitely some pretty interesting stuff with all these different Model 3 and Model Y configurations. Model 3 performance is in inventory and especially Model 3s with a interesting tax credit as applied is also in inventory as well. In other Model 3 news, we've got some interesting things that are popping off. Uh, Tony has released their Quick Bandit, Quick, Repli Quick Bandit license plate holder for the Model 3 performance that is fits. And so if you're interested in this, definitely check out the discount code down below in the description as well. We've got this on our Model X and our, our Cybertruck as well for us. And some interesting stuff with the Model 3 performance as we're talking about it, they have this in insane mode, which we actually were able to test this today, but it quote, prioritizes heat and cooling for the battery for the sake of performance, which reduces efficiency. So if you are going to be doing road trips, do not use this feature it is not recommended at all if you are looking to use it and we're starting to see more and more model threes being modified shout out to andrew for posting this we've got unplug up oh three wheels as posted on a gray stealth gray model three performance fantastic looking and maybe this is the move i kind of like the up fives as well but certainly this could be the move if we do get our model three performance but i think my target time frame would be like later on this year but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on 